Hi guys, what's up? This is Manas and today we'll be dealing with isometric views. Now guys, I've been getting a lot of messages to develop content on isometric views and isometric production. So the wait is finally over and this is going to be tutorial one. So what exactly does this isometric projection or isometric view mean? Well, here is the answer. Isometric projection is a type of pictorial projection in which the three dimensions of a solid are not only shown in one view, but the actual sizes can be measured directly from it. And guys, there is a lot of confusion among students I've heard. I mean, so what is the difference between an isometric view and an isometric projection? Well guys, here is the answer. To avoid confusion, the view drawn with the true scale is called isometric drawing or isometric view. While that drawn with the use of an isometric scale is isometric projection. So okay. So any view that is associated with or any view that is drawn with the help of a true scale is an isometric view. Okay. And whereas when you use an isometric scale, the size is, uh, the size is reduced slightly. Okay. And that particular uh, view is in fact what you call an isometric projection. All right. So that was the basic difference between isometric view and isometric projection. So I'll be doing um, an isometric view tutorial this time around and we'll be using all these dimensions, the true scale. And we'll be drawing this isometric view, the so-called 3D view with the help of these true dimensions. Okay. So isometric, the simple measure of isometric, the simple meaning of isometric is equal measure. All right. So there are three axes. So this is how the isometric axis is placed and this this axis over here is for length, this axis over here is for length, this one is for breadth and this one is for height or depth. All right. And if we can show you this, we can draw a horizontal line through the intersection point of all the, these three axes. You'll realize that this um, angle over here works out as 30 degrees. Okay. And this angle also works out as 30 degrees. All right. So now let's begin our quest for drawing the isometric view and the figure is this one over here and let us see and let us figure out how much the length of this overall object is. Okay. All right. So you can clearly see that this over here is the front view and this over here is the top view. In front view, you can see clearly see the length and the height. So the length is 56. All right. This is 56 from here to here. This is over here is 20. And in the top, you can see clearly see the length that is 56 and breadth is 32. So what we're going to be doing is initially we'll be drawing this so-called horizontal line. All right. And somewhere around this line, we'll have to make a point. And then the length is going to be along this axis over here. Okay. So the length has been taken as 56 millimeters. So I'm going to write 56 over here at an angle of 30 degrees. All right. So please watch this carefully. Let me, let me show you this angle. That's 30 degrees. Next thing is to place breadth along this isometric axis. All right. So the breadth has been given to us as 32 millimeters. So let's do this quickly. Done. Okay. The next thing you do guys is to make use of a roller scale or you can also make use of a mini drafter. And I would strongly recommend you guys to make use of a mini drafter because it's going to be super fun and it's going to be pretty quick with the help of a drafter. So what we're going to do is we'll place our mini drafters along this line or one scale of a mini drafter along this line. We'll tighten the screw and then we'll go ahead and take this point and we'll draw a line again this. Needless to say, this is a 56 millimeter long line. All right. Then again, we'll keep our drafters along this line over here. We'll tighten the screw and then we'll move ahead. And then again, we'll draw a line. Obviously, the length of this line will work out as 32 millimeters. Okay. So the top view of this overall scenario has been drawn in the isometric way. Okay. With the help of isometric lines, obviously. Now, uh, if you watch this carefully, in this front view, we have this platform, okay, the foundation and this foundation is of height 8 millimeters. So what we're going to do is we'll go 8 millimeters above from each and every point. This one, this one, this one and this one. So let's do this quickly. 8 millimeters above. All right, 8. That's it. Now I'm going to copy this 8 millimeters from this point, 8 millimeters from this point and 8 millimeters from this point. Now all these points, we're going to join all these points with the help of this line over here. Let's just join them. 
well that's it and now for clarity for better visualization for you guys i'm gonna delete these so-called edges which will not be visible in fact okay in this view isometric view okay the next thing to do is to draw this top view over here okay guys we are going to start off from this point from this point over here we're gonna go eight millimeters along this direction and then we're gonna go this is how much let us see this is um, if we, if I can show you this length over here this length over here is actually 16 yeah from this point to this point this is actually 16 you can clearly see this okay I'll delete this right now okay fine so we're gonna go 8 and then we're gonna go over here 16 and then back over here okay so watch this carefully 8 steps along this direction along this direction 8 steps that's it and then 16 millimeters in this direction okay and then here 8 millimeters okay that's it guys so this profile has been made fine and now we're gonna go for this profile over here and this is going to be 8 this is going to be 8 and this is going to be from this point we are going to come over here for 16 and then back to 8 8 16 and 8 so this is the philosophy with which we're going to be working um, 8 okay then over here we're going to go 16 steps 16 millimeters and then over here okay 8 millimeters So this profile is over, this profile is over, now let's worry about this profile, this guy over here. So in order to locate this point, what I'll do is, um, please watch this carefully, so I'll be drawing a line over here, okay, at a distance of 10 millimeters, randomly. So let's do this quickly, um, from this point, alright, so I'm going to be drawing this line, alright. Please keep on watching this carefully. Don't miss the action. Something like this. Okay. Suppose you have drawn this line. This for for example. Okay, this line we have drawn. Okay. Fine. Now somewhere along this line, at a distance of 20 millimeters, we are going to have this point. Alright. So let's have this point. that's it this was the point which was needed all right so i'm going to chop off this line right now oh, no not exactly all right now let's move in this direction this direction you see this is 12 so we're going to go 12 in this direction at the rate 12 all right then we have to move in this direction this is 16 all right this is 16 all these stuff can be done with the help of a drafter okay then again down 12 steps 12 millimeters and back to where we started this was the point all right and now let us delete this line from this point and from here also so this overall top view this overall top view has been created over here the only thing left is to make use of this front view now you can clearly see that these are the four points over here one two three four one two three and four these four points are absolutely lying over here and the height of these four points are this height over here is uh, somewhere around 12 millimeters. So because this is 20 and this from this point to this point is 8, 20 minus 8 will give you 12. So this height has to be 12. Same stuff for this one also. This is to be 12. All right. So we're going to go 12 above from each and every point over here. All right.
Now I'll copy this. You can make use of a mini drafter for this. And now the next thing to be done is to join all these points. That's it. The same stuff for this end also. So let's go above. Um, I already have copy this one, this one, and this one. And now let's join all of them. Starting from this. Done. done. Bravo. Perfect. All right. Next thing to be done is to look for this guy. Now this. Okay. All these points were above. We went upstairs. All right. Now this this appears as if this is some kind of a rectangular hole, a 16 by 12 rectangular hole having a depth of 8 millimeters. All right. Now this line you see over here, this is actually is an edge, and you can clearly see that there are two lines. Okay, two broken lines rather. So these two broken lines refer to four edges. There are two edges, one at the front and one at the back. This corresponds to only one edge over here. And then over here, we again have uh, two edges, one at the front, one at the back. So these edges cannot be seen directly from the front. And hence, these edges cannot be seen directly from the front, but they have to be given some respect. And that respect is with the help of these so-called broken lines. All right. So what we're going to do is we are over here. I'm going to show you where we are exactly right now. We are over here, over here, and we have to go down below eight millimeters from each and every point. This, 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 and this. All right. So let's do this quickly down below by eight millimeters. Eight. That's it. Now, again, we have to repeat this for this point, for this guy, and for this guy. Okay. Just as you see this rectangle above, so there is going to be a rectangle below also. Um, let's make this rectangle. Okay, guys, um, the drawing is almost done. And the next thing that I'll be doing, it's going to be very interesting. I'll be darkening all that portion which is going to be visible. All right. So please watch this carefully. Okay. Okay, let's keep on moving. And you can make use, initially the drawing that I've prepared, you can make use of, an, of a 3H pencil. Okay, it's going to be very light. And then finally, you can, with the help of an edge pencil, you can darken the portion, which is uh, going to be visible. Okay, so these are the final touches that I'm giving to my drawing. All right, then we have to go for this guy. All right, let's go for this one also. All right, so what's left? This is left. All right, some more final touches. This guy. Now, guys, there is this correction that I want to make uh, in the orthographic view. You have this um, as a broken line. I'm going to show you what it exactly is. Um, let us just use this. What was the name? It was JIS, I suppose. All right. So even this, this is a hidden line. Okay, so there is an edge which cannot be seen from the front and uh, this has been hidden. All right, so this is that edge. Okay, so please make this correction guys. Uh, mistakes do happen. I mean, we are humans. All right, so let's move further and I don't know if anything is left or not. You can clearly see that this also has to be made dark and we can go for this one also from this point to this point and from this point over here to this point. So ultimately, this is what you call the isometric view and it has been drawn to true scale and each and every dimension can be worked out by with the help of a simple scale. You can keep your scale over here and work out the dimensions. All right. 
and if you want to have a more realistic view i'll show you how to have it so finally i've uh, i've discarded all those lines and uh, this is your isometric view so guys now you can confidently say that you know how to make a 3d view all right so that's it all right so guys that was all from my side if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below this is manas patnaik signing off take care bye bye and keep drawing